You hear me use these phrases time and again on this show, but never before have these concepts come together so seamlessly. We're in True North, in a residence designed by architectural designer Michael P. Johnson for homeowner Treg Bradley. Now we're going to take a walk through this home, which is currently featured in the January issue of Desert Living Magazine. Now the home is long and narrow. I'm walking down a deck that's about 185 feet long on a material called Trex. It's a recycled material that's real sensible for outdoor use. But look at this, one by two foot porcelain tile imported from Italy. It's polished inside, but unpolished outside. So the homeowner's girlfriend doesn't slip and fall on her tush when she gets out of the pool. I know what you're thinking, floor to ceiling panes of glass in the middle of the desert, how does that make any sense? Well, when they're tinted, this dark gray keeps the sun out, but still keeps the home open. Now the layout, like I said, is sensible. We're in the main living area with wings to either side, the master bedroom, some guest bedrooms on that side, which we'll see later. But first, let's go around and take a look at this kitchen. Now the kitchen is an Italian design called Verena, and it's available through Polyform in downtown Phoenix. We've got Caesar stone countertops, and I love the grain of this wood really playing nicely off the white floors, white ceilings, white walls. But look at this touch right here. In uh, smoked glass. So while you're cooking, it reflects the desert and it appears as if you're looking out the window. Now you've heard me mention Italy quite a few times in this segment. The Italian tile, the Italian kitchen, and look at this Italian vintage furniture like this 1950 Vanini Murano glass chandelier picked up from Red Modern Furniture in downtown Phoenix. All of this style makes this house more Italian than any of that Tuscan crap you see all over the mountains in the desert. Now we're stepping into the master bedroom. I want you to take a look at this little sitting area. What a great piece of art he's got hung in there. Now here we are in the master bedroom where the homeowner Treg Bradley tells me that he wakes up to a 25 foot painting every morning. He's not talking about this art, he's talking about that view. Something else I love about this house, the owner only purchases art created by local artists. You're looking at the work of Fausto Fernandez. Throughout this home, you'll also see pieces by Randy Slack and Hector Ruiz, who's going to be featured in the February issue of Desert Living Magazine. What's so interesting about the carpet? Michael P. Johnson originally wanted bamboo or some other hard surface, but the homeowner doesn't like the sound of heels or shoes clink clanking around. He just wanted the acoustics to change in the bedroom, something a little bit warmer. Now we're gonna go into the living room and talk to Treg about the architect-client relationship. I do believe in compromise. That's how uh, life uh, evolves. Um, I interviewed several uh, you know, a good half a dozen, and uh, Michael um, stood out uh, as um, a man of uh, ethics and integrity, and, uh, and I felt comfortable with him. Now the home is long and narrow, built on a hill, practically teeter-tottering off of either side, making for long white walls, allowing the owner to showcase his extensive art collection. Look at the piece behind me. It's by local artist Hector Ruiz. It's called My Phoenix. It's about Phoenix. People willing to support the art scene like Treg Bradley is, then Phoenix wouldn't have this struggle anymore. Now this home appears on the cover of the January issue of Desert Living Magazine on newsstands now. If you want to read a little bit more about the home's owner, Treg Bradley, pick up the February men's issue of Desert Living Magazine on newsstands just in time for the Super Bowl. Now here Pot invented by Treg Bradley and designed by Kareem Rashid. It's a self-watering houseplant pot available at House Modern Living and La Grande Orange Grocery in Arcadia. We love homes like this and stories like this, and you can read about them in Desert Living Magazine.